Finally, let's crochet the 22nd round. This round consists of two single crochet stitches, one single crochet increase stitch, and then two more single crochet stitches per set, repeated eight times, ending with 48 stitches. I'll demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet two single crochet stitches. Then a single crochet increase stitch. Followed by another two single crochet stitches. I'll show one set. Then please complete the rest on your own. After finishing, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch that completes this round. Next, let's crochet the 23rd round. This round consists of single crochet stitches and single crochet increase stitches, totaling 56 stitches by the end of the round. I'll demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet 20 single crochet stitches. And I'll show the first three single crochet stitches. Please complete the remaining 17 single crochet stitches on your own. Then, crochet 8 single crochet increase stitches. I'll demonstrate 2 single crochet increase stitches, then please complete the remaining 6 increases on your own. Continue with another 20 single crochet stitches. And I'll demonstrate the first three stitches. Please complete the remaining 17 stitches on your own. After finishing, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch that completes this round. Next, elongate the loop and stuff some fiber fill into the shape for padding and shaping here. Moving on to rounds 24 to 35, each of these rounds consists of a straightforward 56 single crochet stitches, with no increases or decreases, totaling 56 stitches per round. Let me demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch, and I'll show the first three single crochet stitches. Please continue crocheting up to the 35th round on your own. After finishing, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch that completes these rounds. Finally, let's crochet the 36th round. This round consists of five single crochet stitches followed by a single crochet decrease stitch, repeated eight times, totaling 48 stitches. I'll demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet five single crochet stitches. then one single crochet decrease stitch. I'll show one set, then please complete the rest on your own.
after finishing, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. That completes this round. Next, let's crochet the 37th round. This round consists of two single crochet stitches, one single crochet decrease stitch, followed by another two single crochet stitches per set, repeated eight times, totaling 40 stitches. I'll demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch, crochet two single crochet stitches. Then a single crochet decrease stitch. Followed by another two single crochet stitches. I'll show one set. Then please complete the rest on your own. After finishing, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch that completes this round. Moving on to the 38th round, this round consists of three single crochet stitches followed by a single crochet decrease stitch, repeated eight times, totaling 32 stitches. I'll demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet three single crochet stitches. Then one single crochet decrease stitch. I'll show one set. Then please complete the rest on your own. After finishing, Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch that completes this rounder. Next, elongate the loop and add some more fiber fill for additional padding and shaping. Finally, let's crochet the 39th round. This round consists of one single crochet stitch, one single crochet decrease stitch, and another single crochet stitch per set, repeated eight times, totaling 24 stitches. I'll demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch. Then a single crochet decrease stitch. Followed by another single crochet stitch. I'll show one set. Then please complete the rest on your own. After finishing, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch that completes this round. Next, let's crochet the 40th round. This round consists of one single crochet stitch followed by a single crochet decrease stitch, repeated eight times, totaling 16 stitches. I'll demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch. Then perform a single crochet decrease stitch.
I'll show one set, then please complete the rest on your own. After finishing, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch that completes this rounder. Moving on to the 41st round, this round consists entirely of decreased stitches, with 8 decreases total, ending with 8 stitches. I'll demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet 1 single crochet decrease stitch. and I'll show one decrease. Please complete the rest on your own. After finishing, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. Leave a 5 inch tail, cut the yarn. And then use a tapestry needle to weave the tail through the outer loops of the last round, secure and hide the end. The body is now completed.